Pivots and pivot columns are definitions used when working with matrices in row echelon form or reduced row echelon form. This matrix here is in row echelon form. A pivot is the first non-zero number in a row going from left to right. The leftmost non-zero value in row 1 is 3, so 3 is a pivot. The leftmost non-zero value in row 2 is 2, so 2 is a pivot. The leftmost non-zero value in row 3 is 6, so 6 is a pivot. Row 4 has no non-zero value, so no pivot exists in row 4. We've found all our pivots. Pivot columns are columns that contain a pivot. Our pivot in row 1 is in column 1, so column 1 is a pivot column. Our pivot in row 2 is in column 3, so column 3 is a pivot column. Our pivot in row 3 is in column 5, so column 5 is a pivot column. We found our pivots and pivot columns in this matrix that is in row echelon form. Let's consider a matrix in reduced row echelon form. Here, our pivots jump out. Notice the leftmost non-zero in any row is 1. So 1 is our pivot in row 1, row 2, row 3, and row 4. Our pivot columns are the columns that contain the pivots. So column 1, column 2, column 4, and column 5 are the pivot columns of this matrix. These are the pivots and pivot columns of a matrix in reduced row echelon form. Now look at this matrix here. It is not in row echelon form or reduced row echelon form. We would not be able to identify any pivots or pivot columns until you use elementary row operations to convert it to either row echelon form or reduced row echelon form. For definitions on row echelon form and reduced row echelon form, check out this video here. I'm Joe, and thanks for spending some time with me.